Hey guys, Stefan here coming at you from Mexico Service and uh, just going to do this video here to talk about um, repairing a footwell module. So for those of you who don't know, BMWs, uh, most of the e later e-chassis, so we're talking 3 Series, uh, 1 Series, X5s, um, we've seen quite a bit of footwell modules uh, go bad. In fact, uh, BMW had a warranty extension for 10 years or 120, 150, I don't know, something high mileage. But uh, most of these cars are more than 10 years old, so this warranty no longer covers them. Um, and the replacement from BMW, I believe is like cost is around eight or $900. Uh, and we're able to repair these without having to replace them. And the beauty is that uh, you don't have to reprogram the car when you, uh, when you put the repaired one back in the vehicle. So uh, I, I had a buddy of mine, Luther, who uh, came over to, he was having a problem with this car. And um, so we wanted to use his as a demonstration. And I had him film while we were doing the repair to his footwell module. Uh, Luther, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna attempt to, uh, I guess, reflash a uh, FRM module for mm -hmm. uh, BMW FRM3. I don't know if you can zoom in on that right there. So, uh, yep, and we're going to be using the Hexprog uh, and this little handy dandy uh, device. So, yeah, you want to come around here and take sure a look thing. at the screen. So, now sure we got thing. it connected so we don't have to solder anything on the circuit board. We're going to try to read the, see if it's, it should give us an error message on the EEE drive. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to wait for this to do that. Yep, failed unlock chipset. So, now we're going to go to the P flash. If I can click on that. Read the P flash. Now, in theory, this should read the whole P flash. All right. Let me try this again. Unless I don't have it connected. Oh, yep, it's not on there, right? Let's try that again. Go to the P flash. Ah, see, it's, it's reading the P flash now. Yep. Takes a few moments, I imagine. Yep. This is where we play the Jeopardy theme music. <laughs> Does one have to do any error correction after downloading? So what I'm gonna do, once this is done, I'm gonna save the file on my desktop, just mm -hmm. in case. Uh, and then there's a repair function that it'll, once we once we do this and I save it, I'm gonna hit the repair function. Mm -hmm. um, and it should do everything in the background. Excellent, excellent. And then what we'll do, we'll be able to reread the EEE. Okay, so now we have this. We're gonna save this to there, and I will call this bad. All right, so now we're gonna hit the repair button. Yep. Is it clicking? What am I doing here? Yeah, it's clicking. Give me a moment. EEPROM has been repaired. I hope that's the VIN of your car. It is, yep. Okay, so I don't think I need to do this again, but I'll hit the button again just to make sure. Yep. All right, now I should be able to X out of this. Now we should be able to go to the EEE -E -E and then read it. Paper's calling me, so. <laughs> There you go. go. So we're good to go. I'm going to save this again. I'm going to call this one good. <laughs> good. A little space in there. Save it. And then we'll have both files. And now we're done. Excellent. That's it. And this so. is a service provided by BMW Exclusive Service in Rockville, Maryland. Yep, that's correct. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you, Luther. And Luther. And, uh,
be able to put this back in your car and get your get your stuff working again. Awesome. Thank Take you, care, Stefan. Man.